Welcome to A Journey to China, Chinese One. Hello, 你好,我是于博士. I can hear that someone has already translated what I said into, Hello, I'm Dr. Yu. 你好,我是于博士. Very good. Did you practice repeating, reciting, and representing the Chinese words and phrases we learned in our first lesson? Learning is a treasure that will follow its owner everywhere. By the way, did you tell someone you love them in Chinese? 我爱你. In our first lesson, we learned how to greet someone, introduce ourselves, and say goodbye. Who can say in Chinese, hello, I am, then goodbye? Now, Let's all say hello, I am, then goodbye together in Chinese. Use your first name. Ready? 你好,我是于博士,再见. How did you do? Let's review what we've learned so far. First, how do you greet someone and say hello in Chinese? Ni hao is correct. Ni means you, and hao means good or well. Listen as I say it for you a few times. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Now, repeat after me. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Let's say all together. Ni hao. Ni hao is a popular way to greet people. There's also a formal and polite way to say ni hao. It's easy to learn. When greeting a teacher, a parent, a senior person, or a person in a business situation, we use nin. Nin is a polite form of ni, meaning you. So the polite greeting is nin hao. Nin uses a second tone. It rises. Can you hear it? Listen. Nin hao. Nin hao. Nin hao. Now, repeat it after me. Nin hao. Nin hao. Let's say together. Nin hao. Turn to your teacher and say nin hao. Very good. What is a Chinese title that's used for teachers? Anyone? Yes. Lao shi. Let's say together. Lao shi. Listen again. Lao shi. Lao shi. Lao shi. Now repeat it after me. Lao shi. Lao shi. Lao shi. Let's say it together one more time. Lao shi. Excellent. The more you listen and speak, the better. Now, you can greet your teachers using the polite form of hello with their title. Remember that family names come before titles. So using my family name as an example, you would say, Nin hao, yu lao shi. I'll say it again. Nin hao, yu lao shi. One more time. Nin hao, yu lao shi. Now say with me. Nin hao, yu lao shi. Now, turn and greet your teacher in your classroom and use their family name before their title.
Very good. 很好 Let's continue. When you introduce yourself, how do you say I am? Yes. 我是 Listen. 我是我是我是 Now repeat after me. 我是我是我是 Very good. 很好 For instance, 我是于博士 I'm Doctor Yu. Now tell me who you are in Chinese. Very good. Which of your names comes first in a phrase? 我是 When you follow the Chinese custom. Correct. Your family name comes first. You would say 我是 Then your family name. Then your first name. Excellent, students. 我是 Wo means I or me. Shi means am, is or are. Finally, when it's time to leave, how do you say goodbye in Chinese? Yes, 再见 I'll say for you, 再见再见再见 Now. Repeat it after me. 再见，再见。Let's say it together. 再见，再 for again, and 见 for to see. 再见。Keep practicing, students, and your pronunciation will get better and better. Let's move on to our review of pinyin. Does anyone remember what the term pinyin means in Chinese? Yes, the spelling of the sound. Pinyin syllables show you how to speak the sounds of the Chinese characters. Keep in mind, the correct way to say the pinyin syllables is somewhat different from English. Even though the Roman alphabet is used to spell the sounds, let's review the pinyin of the vocabulary from our first lesson. Can you read the initials, consonants? They are in blue, 蓝色 The final vowels are in red, 红色 Remember, one syllable per character. Pay attention to the tones. Start relating the character to the sound without always looking at the pinyin. Since Chinese is a tonal language, when we read it together, it can sound like a choir singing a song. Let's become a pinyin choir. I'll read the initial consonants and final vowels of each word. Listen. Then say the syllable of each word after me. Imitate the tones as closely as possible. Let's try it, and enjoy our pinyin choir. Repeat after me. 你好，我是在。见 You sound pretty good. Let's do it again. 你好，我是在见。很好 ，Very good, Pinyin Choir. Who can name the three parts that make up a pinyin syllable? Good. 好 Yes, the initials or consonants, the finals or vowels, 
and the tones. Look at the vocabulary from our first lesson. You can see the initial consonants in blue, 蓝色, the simple finals in red, 红色, and the compound finals in orange, 橙色. Compound finals are a combination of simple finals. The letter N is added to yan and jian. Pay attention to the third and the fourth tone marks used in our words. The ability to pronounce simple finals clearly is the foundation of beautiful Chinese sounds. You pronounce vowels every day in your own language. Now, you can do it in Chinese too. Chinese uses six simple finals or vowels. These are the vowels. A, O, E, I, U, Yu. Look at the chart of the six simple finals or vowels and the tone marks. We are going to pronounce these vowels and I want you to write these vowels in the air with your finger as you say them after me. This will help you memorize the sounds. Remember, this is Chinese pronunciation. In a little while, we'll do some dictation after we practice. I'll say each vowel three times. Listen, then repeat after me. Let's begin. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Remember that a sound represented by letter E can change when it's combined with other vowels. A tip to pronounce the U sound is to say U sound and then say E sound together. Let's try three times. U Let's take a look at the tone marks. Tone marks always appear above vowels. The first tone has a straight line across. The second tone goes up. The third tone goes down and up. The fourth tone goes down. The fifth tone, also called neutral tone, has no mark at all. Now, we're going to practice pronouncing the six simple finals and vowels with the five tones. I'll also give you two words that use simple finals. Listen as I give you an example of each simple final with the tones. Then repeat it after me. Imitate the tone as closely as you can. Here we go. Pinyin choir. Ah. Ah. Ah, ah, ba, ma, o, 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 bo, wo. Yee, yee, yee. 
一，一，一，你，你，五，五，五，五，五。The neutral tone, you can see, has no tone mark above the vowel, as you've learned. The neutral tone is pronounced as a sound a little lower than the tone before it. For example, listen to these words: Mama, Lan Lan, Jie Jie, or Ba Ba. Can you hear the difference? The neutral tone is pronounced a little lower than the tone used in the first syllable of the word. Don't be afraid to make mistakes; just keep practicing out loud, and I'll guarantee you will master the tones and say them correctly. Now that we practice the simple vowels with tones, today I'll teach you how to read and say all 21 initials or consonants. The first eleven initials or consonants sound similar in both Chinese and English. Listen, then repeat after me as we practice. Let's begin. Po, po, mo, fo, de, te. Na, la, ga, ka, ha. Let's do it again. Repeat after me. Po, po, mo, fo. Da, ta, na, la, ga, ka, ha. Next are the ten initials or consonants. They are very Chinese in the way they sound. Listen closely and repeat after me. Qi, qi, xi, zhi, chi, shi, ri, zi, ci, si. Let's say these ten initials or consonants again. Repeat after me. Qi, qi, xi, zhi, chi, shi, ri, zi, ci, si. About half of the initials or consonants sound similar to English. So they are not difficult to pronounce, but qi, qi, xi, and ri are very different from English. Repeat these after me again: qi, qi, xi, ri. If you can pronounce these initials or consonants well, you'll be able to speak Chinese without an American English accent. 
Now, we'll do some dictation. Take out your Lesson 2 video class worksheet and a pen. Listen and write down the first section, the six simple finals or vowels as I say them. Are you ready? Let's begin. Ah. Uh, I repeat. Ah. Uh, next. E. I repeat. E. Next. U. I repeat. U. Next, U. I repeat, U. Next, O. I repeat, O. Next, U. I repeat, U. How? Good. We'll check your answers in a moment. Now, let's go to section two. Listen and write down syllables with the tone marks. Here we go. Ni. I repeat. Ni. Next. Wo. I repeat, wo. Next, how. I repeat, how. Next, shi. I repeat, shi. We are finished with dictation. I want you to evaluate yourself on the simple finals in the first section. Look at the answer chart on the screen. How did you do? I'm going to say the vowels again as you listen and read to yourself. Ah, e, u, u, o, e. Did you have any trouble between the vowels wu and yu or the vowels o and e? Now, exchange worksheets with your neighbor. Check the answers on the syllables. Ready? Here are the answers. Ni, wo, hao, shi. Put a check mark next to the syllables your neighbor got correct. Then return the paper to your neighbor. We've studied the second, third, and the fourth tones in our phrases. Ni, wo, hao, use the third tone. Shi, zai, and jian, use the fourth tone. Our newest word, nin, uses the second tone. When you get your worksheet back, you know where you need to practice. Excellent! Fei Chang Hao. Let's review the Chinese characters we've been learning. Since this is our first in-depth look at Chinese characters, here are some basic principles you need to know. First, each character is pronounced as one syllable and has its own meaning. Second, when you write on your worksheet, each Chinese character is written within the shape of a square. Look at this practice sheet for writing. You'll write within a square. It can be an actual square, like on this practice sheet. or it can be an imaginary square. This helps you keep the characters within a framework. Later, when other people read your Chinese writing, 
they will be able to understand it, and so will you. Chinese characters communicate information directly, and also with beauty. Chinese calligraphy, the art of fine writing, is considered to be one of the highest arts of Chinese scholars. Let's look at these images of Chinese calligraphy. In our first lesson, I said that you'd be reading and writing Chinese characters. You can definitely do this. How can you remember characters? The key is to study characters and memorize the parts. You can do this by separating the parts of a character and memorizing them. Today, we'll focus on character structure. There are two basic types of character structure. These are, one, a single part character, and two, a compound character, which is made up of two or more parts. Look at the characters that make up the words in our phrases. The character for ni, meaning you, has two parts, left and right. This is a compound character. Learning it in parts can help you memorize it more easily. Next, hao, meaning good and well, also has two parts, left and right. This character is compound. Next, wo, meaning I or me, is a single part character. This character is complete in itself. Next, shi, which means am, is, and are, is a compound character. Instead of two parts side by side, this compound character has two parts, one on the top and one on the bottom. Next, zai, meaning again has only one part, so the character is a single part. Next, jian, meaning to see, is a two-part character, which makes it what? Yes, compound. Notice that it has an outside part wrapped around an inside part. Finally, nin is a three-part character. Three parts make it a compound character. Do you see anything familiar about nin? See how the character on top is ni squeezed to make it shorter? Ni itself is a two-part character. The character on the bottom is xin, which is a pictograph of a heart. These characters combined create nin the formal form of you. I think you understand the basics of character structure quite well by now. You've done a good job today, students. Today, we reviewed our phrases, learned the polite form of ni, which is nin, and reviewed the three elements of pinyin syllables. What are they? They are the initials, the finals, and the tones. We practice the six simple finals with tones as a pinyin choir, and learn the pronunciation of most of the initials or consonants. We also tested ourselves on simple finals and some of the syllables from our phrases. We've learned the basic structure of Chinese characters and began to be familiar with the characters from our phrases. Before the end of class today, complete the third part of your worksheet on the structure of characters. Spend some time practicing the pronunciation of the initials 
with the audio CD this week and have some fun using Chinese phrases you know with your friends. Please repeat, recite, and represent all the things we've studied so you'll be ready for a quiz. Students, remember that learning never ends. Xue Wu Zhi Jing. I look forward to seeing you again on A Journey to China. Zhongguo Zhi Lu. Zai Jian. Thank you.